What's up, Crypto Universe? It's me, Eugene Tay from Rock the Block Live, giving you today's headline news from Thailand, Bangkok. Uh, we are here for Beyond Blocks as media partner for the event, and all our Thai fans out there, uh, Sawati Kap, right? uh, if you are still around and you're watching this video, we'll still be here for two more days. So come on by, say hello, and we'll love to meet up with you. Okay, now, first up on our headline news for today. KuCoin, the exchange have delisted some tokens. And the tokens are Publica, EncryptGen, Moneta, Raiden, Gladius, Block Mason Credit Protocol. Well, this is a practice that has been going on for some time. Usually when a coin is not doing too well, no liquidity, just no volume, uh, exchanges do delist them. So uh, nothing to be too really up, uptight and afraid about all this. In fact, if you want to know the real reason, uh, well, KuCoin has released a statement citing everything on the reasons why they have delisted the coins. Won't be the first time, definitely won't be the last. Of course, if the coins that you're holding is delisted, there's all the reasons to get panicky about that. Might want you to think about what you're going to do with this coin. Hoddle on or just consider it a loss. Number two on headline news, Ethereum developers are racing against time to launch Ethereum 1X, which was shown at the recent DEF CON 4 conference in October. The plan is to implement an upgrade to the network prior to the Constantinople hard fork, which is due very, very soon. Internal meetings involving Vitalik Buterin and Joseph Lubin will indicate how important these meetings are and how important this upgrade is to the whole Ethereum community. Of course, now with XRP Ripple hovering at number two, there's a lot more in, uh, pressure on the Ethereum team to really come up with upgrades, releasing new information, announcements, because let's face it, as a smart contract poster boy, uh, Ethereum is now up against a whole lot of different competitions in the market. Whether it can restore its former glory or fall to the bylines because, you know, people in crypto can be rather fecal and there is no loyalty in this space at all. He's not my friend anymore. So surely all the Ethereum developers want something done fast to re-establish confidence back in the community. But I can't contain them on my own anymore. We have to do something fast. Headline news number three. The US state of Ohio will be accepting Bitcoin as payment for your tax. First, this will be initially open to just corporations, but sooner or later, it will be open to the rest of the public and everyone can pay their tax with Bitcoin. While it's easy to celebrate this as a victory for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, do take note that if you actually pay your taxes in Bitcoin, they will know who this wallet belongs to and it's really easy to just trace back based on your identity. So if you are particular about your privacy, this may not actually be a good thing for you guys. Hmm, how do they know my name? In the final headline news for today and the juiciest as well, Upstart Social Network Gap has been accused of allowing alternate right-wing extremist users to air their extremist views on the decentralized social network. This has caused the banks to remove ties and shut down Gap's bank account. In fact, founder Andrew Toba had also had its Twitter account suspended because Gap was recently in the spotlight for allowing user Robert Bowers, the right-wing extremist who killed Levin at a Jewish synagogue, to use the network to publish his views so for you guys out there thinking about you know having free speech and allowing if content and information to just flow freely what are your thoughts on this is this considered insensitive do you want to see a world an open platform where anything and everything can be said now think about that for a minute in the old days the roman preachers would stand in the square and talk about your opinions and air their views. Now, depending on how many people actually listen to you, the audience can choose to not listen to you and move away. Kind of like how we have a choice to not read shitty news. Well, the Romans did it with their feet and they just walk away. Now, if you are a preacher and you have no one standing in front of you while you go on yabbing, yabbing about your point of view, 
you get stoned to death. <laughs> So in regards to Gap, they not only found themselves an audience, they are also waiting to be stoned. Well, that's all the news I have for you today. Wow, this is quite exciting. Also, I can't wait to share this information with you guys. We have met up with some really interesting folks here at Beyond Blocks. Uh, one of them, as I said before, is Charles Hawkinson. And I really had a good time talking to him and you know, really picking his mind about his philosophy and his views of the market. And it's interesting to see what he thinks is going to happen in 2019. Well, all of that and more, just stay tuned to Rock the Block Live. Share, subscribe, like this channel. Share this with all your friends. Don't get left behind. Also, Satoshi's Quest is now on. So if you love to solve puzzles and you want to challenge yourself, well, stay tuned to the end of this video for your next clue. Well, my name is Eugene Tay signing out. I'll see you guys back in Singapore for Block Show Asia. When you're chewing on life's gristle, that grumble, give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best And always look on the bright side of life